Greetings growers, today I'm showing you how to get the most out of your tap water. If you're using tap water like me, there's a few things you gotta look out for. The hardest thing about getting the tap water just right is you gotta remember to get the water before your plants need water. You get your water a day ahead of time, leave it out, let it sit without a lid on it, for 24 hours, that way the chemicals that are in it that are good for people and bad for plants can evaporate out of them. So, fluor fluoride, chlorine, uh, I'm not 100% sure. Honestly, I'm bad about doing that. I don't get my water ahead of time, but I'm working on it. They say it's good. Okay, so now if you're gonna do a feeding, obviously go ahead, you let your water sit out for a day, add your food, uh, and, and get her mixed in really well before you pH. Now, I, I like to use a turkey baster to, to mix it. Instead of lifting the, the jug up over my head, I, I can get the, the water mixed all the way down. And I even, I even like to try to oxygenate the water a bit too. Oh. Okay. Then, we're gonna take our handy pH meter and she fits right in there so we don't even have to hold her hands free. Now this is just straight tap water right out of my kitchen sink. So you give her a minute, swirl her around. We're sitting at, we were at 6.1, sorry, 7.1, 7.2. Seven three. It looks like she's going to settle out at 7.3. Oh, then she just went up to 7.4. Alright, alright. 7.4. That's right out of the tap. We're going to give her a little bit of pH down to try to get her down to about 6.5. Now, it's different depending on what medium you're growing in. Uh, I believe if you're growing hydro, you want a little bit lower pH. I'm growing in soil. Uh, I'm shooting for about six and a half. 6.2 isn't bad. 6.7 is all right. I'm just gonna give her one quarter teaspoon of pH down. Oh, we're gonna get that pH mixed in there really well. Nice and mixed all the way through. Alright, and now we just pH again. Pop her in, turn it on, and see what she says. Alright, she's at 6.8, 6.7. Six 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 five. We're slowing down. Oh, back up to six six. Okay, so we're probably at uh, uh, six five. It's a it's a heavy six five, and that's that's all right. She is good to go. My babies are ready to be watered. Recycled water jug lasts you a couple of months pH meter from Amazon, about $10. Dollar store turkey baster, which is a couple of dollars off Amazon. One dollar at the dollar store. Get your water perfect. You're gonna be watering your girls maybe every other day, maybe once a week, but you're gonna be watering often. Put, get your water a day early, put your food in, then pH her. And like I said, I like using a turkey baster because it mixes everything real well and I can get her some extra oxygen. All right guys, so that's the basics for watering. Getting your water just right. Take it easy and keep growing.